Next, we're going back to the topic of music with our following guest speaker, Patrick Murray. Patrick is currently the director of the University of Toronto Scarborough Concert Choir and is also a lecturer at Western University. Thanks so much, Rita. And it's great to be here with you all tonight with a couple of people that I know, and many people that I don't know. Uh, I'm a bit of an improviser. I don't have fancy slides for you here tonight. Um, but what I did think I could do, rather than talking, you know, about lots of things that I've done is show you a little bit about what I am doing now and how choral music has been able to continue through the challenges of a uh, pandemic. Um, but first of all, just to give you a little bit about me. So I work as a choral conductor and a composer and a music educator. Uh, as Rita said, I'm currently on teaching faculty at Western uh, here in London and at the University of Toronto Scarborough. Uh, so I lead several curricular choirs on those two campuses and I work with our students who are not so much older than you all, um, up and coming artists and teachers, all of them, uh, to develop their own skills as music educators and choral leaders and bring the kind of music that they want to bring back into their schools and their communities. I think one thing that happened for me in high school at Cameron Heights that really set me on the path that I'm currently on was in 2006, the Kitchener-Waterloo Symphony uh, declared that they would be going bankrupt and folding and shutting down operations. Uh, what followed after that was a massive community-wide fundraising campaign uh, to save the symphony, is what they called it. Um, and as part of that, myself and a group of friends of mine at the time in the music program at Cameron, all of whom I'm still in touch with, and we Zoom on a month-to-month -month basis and still have an annual Christmas party when we can. So friends from Cameron, great people. Uh, we all pitched in together and along with students at a couple of other high schools in town organized a benefit concert that was entirely student-run for the Kitchener-Waterloo Symphony. Um, and I bring this up, you know, this was almost 15 years ago, but I bring this up for a couple of reasons. Number one, it was the moment in my life where I really realized that the importance of what we do as performing artists is not just to make beautiful and cool and awesome things, uh, which many of you are all doing in your own ways and your own disciplines and your own artistic practices. But it really, the value in the performing arts lies in how we bring people together around shared experience. And that was what we stood to lose at that time. And that is what I think, and what I, if there's one thing that we take away from tonight, that I think many of us have realized that we are missing over the past year is the value of coming together, whether it be in song or in dance or in your band or just jamming out in some way that art is what you make together with other people. And for me as a choral practitioner and conductor, I know that that is something that I think about on a daily basis when I'm working with my choirs, be they older adults, younger kids. Um, part of the art is how do you bring people together and animate their voices and bring that to speak to something that is a local connection. And so figuring out how to do that over the whole past year when largely all that we've been able to do is meet together on Zoom to recapture some of the integrity of that experience has been an immense learning curve for me, but has also brought real opportunities for personal growth and to make connections still here in London that I don't think I otherwise would have made. So one thing that I'm working on right now is uh, since this past fall, uh, I've been leading an online participatory singing group for the clients of the London Intercommunity Health Center. We meet once a week on Zoom 
uh, to sing with and for each other and for each other's well-being. And it's not just a sing-along. That was something I was pretty uh, convinced myself that I wanted to do when I was starting this. But this is really a time to elevate and explore each other's voices and to encourage the people who do come uh, to also stretch themselves outside of their comfort zone and grow. One thing that uh, as a choral musician, I'm often called upon to work with with people is this kind of pervasive idea in our society that I am not a singer. I can't sing. I'm not going to make people put their hands up. But if you in any way have felt that in yourself, just take a minute to acknowledge that and wonder why. Why? What is it about our world that makes people feel like they are not a singer? And so what we do together on Zoom uh, with this little group, which is not a choir, um, but is something that is different and has been, you know, a growth for me in my personal artistic practice is how do we affirm each and everyone's voice, encourage them to lead songs that they know and learn together to sing together on Zoom. So what I would like to do in our last couple of minutes together is I'd like to sing something and I need one volunteer. Do I have somebody to volunteer to sing with me? You can put your hand up either virtually on Zoom or you can put it up on your screen. I see uh, Akbar Arkani. Are you there, Arkani? Hi. Hi. You can keep your video off if you like, but we're going to sing. And uh, I'd invite you all to sing along with me. Is, is your name Akbar or Arkani? Uh, Akbar. Akbar. Okay. Nice to meet you, Akbar. Nice to meet you too. Okay. So we're going to do a call and response. So I'm going to sing a little bit and then you're going to sing back to me. Is that all right? Sure. Sure. And all the rest of you, you better be singing along with Akbar. Here we go. Uh, this is called When I Rise. One, two, three. When I rise. When I rise. Let me rise, let me rise, like a bird, like a bird, joyfully, joyfully, and when I fall, and when I fall, let me fall, let me fall, like a leaf like a leaf gracefully gracefully without regret without regret without regret without regret let's do it again akbar you and me and everybody together here we go when i rise when i rise let me rise let me rise like a bird like a bird joyfully joyfully and when i fall and when i fall let me fall, let me fall, like a leaf, like a leaf, gracefully, gracefully, without regret, without regret, without regret, without regret. Now, if you were in my group, Akbar, the next step is I would ask you to teach that to somebody else. But we're a little short on time tonight, so you get off easy. Can we give an applause for Akbar, please? And to all of you for singing uh, along with the two of us. Uh, so that's just a little song we like to sing together on uh, Tuesday nights when I meet with my folks with the LAHC. Um, if there's something that I like to leave you all with i think it's just this that no matter what you do whether it's the arts 
science, technology, think about how your work is working to bring together specific groups of people. What kinds of relationships are being formed around what you do? Are those the relationships that you want to form? What kinds of ways can you stretch yourself to form different relationships, to make different communities? And just to remember also that, and this has really been driven home to me over the past year, is you never really make it because what it looks like to make it keeps changing. And the whole point is to keep making things. So go out into the world and make what you're going to make. High school is not a rehearsal for what comes later. Do it now. It's so great to see you all tonight. And thanks for singing with me.